What's up guys and welcome back once again to Daily Reviews. Today I'm going to be looking at the Noctua NHG15. I did a video previously of me unboxing this and showing you what it looks like. Um, obviously you've probably seen this loads of times before. It's a very popular cooler. Um, but today I'm going to be installing it on the 5900X and giving it a test to see basically how well it performs and what all the fuss is about because it's the first time I've ever used the Noctua cooler. Um, so we're going to see just how good it is and um, whether it... Um, it deserves sort of the price of money they are, the price they're asking for this um, which is around 110 pounds it is a lot of money um so we're, we're going to get it installed in the system like i say it's 5900x on a b550-e gaming uh, strix board from asus uh, 32 gigs about gigabytes of ram and uh, we've got 3080 in the system I and mean, that doesn't really matter because we're going to cpu testing and it's in the sahara p480 case um, we're going to take all the panels off just so we're getting just the coolers um, how well the cooler performs um, so we're getting just literally like i say just just the coolers performance rather than the case as well so we'll take the front panels off um, to obviously make sure we're getting plenty of airflow to the cooler and um, we'll do a test on cinebench and we'll see uh, basically how well it performs and um, so stick with me guys uh, let's get into it Right, so we've got the D15 installed and we've done some testing on it. Obviously you've seen a quick uh, sort of video of how it's installed. Um, not the most in-depth video, I, I admit, but it's just a quick uh, sort of idea of how it's installed. And the installation process is absolutely really, really easy, basically. Um, it's very similar to the way Be Quiet, uh, Be Quiet coolers are installed. Um, literally two plates go onto the normal AM4 socket, uh, back plate and then the cooler bolt straight to that dead easy it can be done in literally like five minutes if that um even easier if you're doing it outside your case which you normally would do obviously i've got the test, uh, test system already built so it's a little bit more difficult doing it this way um, but other than that yeah it's absolutely really really easy to to install uh fans pretty easy to get on as well even though i'll use those clips um yeah not a problem with those at all uh, i don't like the clips but it's it's standard pretty much um, one thing I will say is RAM clearance, um, as you can probably see from the video that I've shown you and I actually showed you a close up and I'll put it up on the screen now for you to see as well. Um, my, I'm using Crucial Ballistics which isn't the tallest of RAM, um, however I've had to lift the fan off away from the cooler a little bit, uh, sorry, towards the sort of side panel a little bit as well to make sure it gets in there with the RAM. Um, so bear that in mind as well. Um, so let's get into the sort of benchmark results. Um, so I've done obviously temperature um, and I've done uh, noise levels as well um, just to see how it performs. So what I've done is I've just gone max out on the fans which is only 1450 RPM or something like that. So they're not the fastest fans in the world but they are 140 so they are uh, moving quite a lot of air. Um, so what I've done is I've done a five minute Cinebench uh, run, uh, multi-core to load up all the cores, get it as hot as possible um, and then obviously recorded the max result after the end of that. Um, now please bear in mind that the ambient temperature here at the moment is really really warm, um, it's around 25 to 26 degrees um, so that is going to obviously impact the results but I will give you uh, a temperature over ambient reading um, so you've got an idea. So the temperature did change a little bit in here from the start of the test to the end of the test when I first started at around 25.4 and when we finish around 25.8 so that's why you'll notice the figures are probably not what you expect them to be um so in terms of idle temperatures the cpu temperature itself is at 33 degrees which was 7.6 degrees over ambient and the package was at 38 degrees which is 12.6 over ambient then moving on to the max temperatures throughout the uh, cinebench run and um, the cpu itself was 64 degrees which was 38.2 over ambient 
and the package was at 75 degrees which is 49.2 over ambient um, so decent results it is just a stock 5900x um, that i'm running um, but i have got pre precision boost overdrive enabled uh, just at auto to allow it to do what it needs to do um, and the clocks were running at five uh, four point four for uh, on all cores which it always seems to do on multi-core loads on cinebench and um, so that's uh, awesome there so the results for thermals are absolutely fantastic um, as for an air cooler it's doing a great job like i say it is warm in here today so obviously it's, it's going to be sucking in warmer air than it would normally and um, which isn't going to allow, allow it to keep it as cool as possible that's why i've included the temperature over ambient in this test result and i will, I will do going forward to, to give you an idea of um, basically in comparison to other coolers um, so let's go on to the sound testing um, I have obviously got other fans in this case as you've seen from the video um, and I can't completely turn them off because they're using a controller which doesn't allow me to turn them off completely but they're turned down to as low as possible and um, so there is going to be some background noise that's not just the cooler on its own so what we did is we tested it 100%, 75%, 50% and then down at its minimum which allowed me to go down to 250 RPM um, so 100% it was 35 decibels, that's the whole system obviously, um, which is pretty quiet and to be honest with you, just listening to it myself, it is very, very quiet. You can probably hear a slight humming in the background from it now. At 75% it went down to 32 decibels and at 50% it stayed at 32, which basically shows you that the sound floor was, that's where the sound floor was with the case um, with the the other fans that are in there. And then even at 250 RPM it was still at 32, so you can see to the added fans on this aren't bringing the, the decibel really not very much at all um, so it's, it's very very quiet I've got the case open at the moment so if you've got the case closed and everything like that you're probably going to notice this is even quieter and you probably won't even hear it to answer if it is barely audible and it's, and it's sort of a low humming noise anyway so it's not it's not a horrible noise either um, so there's the results guys, I um, hope you enjoyed this, I um, hope you give you insight as to whether you want one of these coolers or not, like I say you've probably seen this cooler on many many videos before but I wanted to do it myself, and like I say I've got a series coming up where I'm going to be testing every cooler I've got and pitting it against this to show you uh, basically this is basically the benchmark for every cooler to try and beat if possible. I'm um, even going to be putting AIOs against it and things like that just to see how good this cooler is and how other things compare to it. And uh, so like I say, I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please don't uh, forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Dislike it if you didn't like it and leave me any comments in the comment section below. Let me know if there's any coolers that you want to see coming up tested against this. I have done a poll recently for coolers that people want to see against this. So let me know if there's any particular ones you would like to see and I'll see if I can get hold of them and uh, put them into my roundup. Uh, so thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Goodbye.